All right, here we are. I and Bo Miles, and uh, I was watching the main man um, video on uh, what do you you know his prediction on the Tekken Eight character roster, and it was a fire video. So if y'all, I'm sure you've seen it. I mean, if you made it <laughs> to me, who I have like uh, two two followers, I know that you've uh, you've seen main man's video so uh if you haven't definitely go look at that his video is going to be a lot better a lot more views but uh the idea that's what we're doing and the big homie esteban uh he put it up on the discord hey man he would like to see our list who we think will make it into tekken eight. so without further ado um we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, I need to make sure that the music is not too loud. So let's turn this down a little bit. So let's put it about right there. And hopefully this is um, this is fine. All right. So. All right. There we go. Hopefully this is good enough. All right, so look, my my list is gonna be is gonna be a lot different from main man's because I want to see some new characters and like uh, I don't I don't believe that everybody that's on here is gonna make it back in their iteration, okay? So uh, like main man, I do want to start with the one hundred percent people who I feel like okay, one hundred percent of the without a doubt these guys are gonna make it, and uh, I'm gonna add some changes the changes that i would like to see so here we go boom of course we we're gonna have we gotta kick it off with uh kazuya kazuya right look man, you can't have Tekken without him and um jen <clears throat> this is what i would like to see with jen because the story mode is going to be jen versus kazuya right in this battle for power now you're playing with power right so you, you have this battle now you're playing with power but what i would like to see in tekken 8 i, I want them to actually merge Jin and devil Jin. okay this is what i want to see um kind of like tekken tag how they did in tekken tag that's what i want to see is um you can transform into devil Jin from you know Jin. now they can do it like they do uh kazuya where all right once you get into a certain you only can do it once or if you get into a certain rage or whatever but like i, I want to say even if you can do it on the fly because he is Jin has mastered the devil gene so i want to see them i want to see him actually change and and he keeps the actual tech and tag to um <clears throat> combo system he'll be the only one i know people man that's cheesy look let them balance it out they just gotta figure out how to balance it out okay look I, that's not that's not my job okay only thing not but i do want to see the both of them merge into the tech and tag to form so like you can actually do those type of combos where you just you just changing like look man it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be cheesy but you know look look that's just gonna be crazy so that's where I want to see Devil Jin. I want to see these two actually come together as one. You don't see Devil Jin. You can just pick Devil Jin. No, you pick Jin, and there's a combination, uh, like a super or ultra or whatever you want to call it. There's a sequence of buttons that where you can transform into him either anytime or you know you can do it. Um, what is it called where it's health related right but i would like to see them where it's you can do it anytime let's make the uh transformation hard right if you're just doing it standard but like let's say if it's in a combo you can you know you can do some of your combo and then um change into them and and vice versa right so that's what i want to see with uh with Jin and devil Jin. so with that being said you won't be able to pick devil Jin, okay all right so we have we have them who else i feel like will make it and let's call this we're gonna 
we're gonna call Tekken 8 the new blood. We Tekken 8 for me is going back to a Tekken 3 um, roster ish, right? Now Tekken 3's roster was a lot smaller. So we're not we're gonna it's gonna be bigger than Tekken 3. So Tekken 8's roster is gonna be bigger than Tekken 3, but it's gonna be smaller than Tekken 7. But because you see this DLC, this is where the roster will get real beefy, okay, is with the DLC. And I know some people are going to feel like, yo, man, that's cheesy and that's, you know, scummy. Really, it's not even cheesy. It's scummy. Like, why don't you just charge whatever and let these characters, you know, come out at the um, very open end of the game? No, no, I, I don't want to. I don't I don't want that. That's that's whack. Okay, because it's like, all right. We like the fact that we have all of these characters now, right? 50 plus characters now, that's good. But in the very beginning, the first year one, I want to I want to see it simplified, okay? So who's going to make the cut? We got Kazuya, we got Jin. Um, let's go with Paul, right? I definitely, you know, we need Paul in there. We need Paul in the game. Um, Steve. Um, we gotta have, we don't, we don't necessarily have to have Ling Xiao Yu, but let's just get her in there. Ling, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't have Miguel coming back. Now, the Bears, I really wouldn't bring the Bears back, but, you know, to main man's credit, the Bears are always in the game. So, um. So here we're just going to do a skin and I know that uh, there's probably like an actual difference, maybe some type of slight difference. Some, I'm sure that there's something with um, Panda and Kuma, but we're just going to put, well, look, without Heihachi, because Heihachi wouldn't make it into my roster. So without Heihachi, you don't get Kuma, but you do get Panda with Link. So that's how I would do that. Um... He was in the story arc, right? So Claudio will make it. Um, I believe that a t I, look, I feel like Akuma. I feel like there will be a 2D presence in Tekken 8. Now, that's going to be the hard part. Who is actually going to make it? Is it going to be Akuma or Eliza or See, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like Akuma should be there because he still has to carry out the revenge. So let's put him. Let's put him as a DLC. All right, we're gonna put Akuma as DLC. Um, because my Tekken Eight is gonna be called Tekken Eight: The New Blood. <laughs> All right, we got the new blood. All right, so uh, where is Lars? We need Lars in the game. I feel like, yeah, I feel like Lars will be there. Um, what is that, Alyssa? Where is our friendly? And I really liked her from um, Tekken 6. Like, just that story arc that the both of them had. I thought that was really, really good. Let's see what we got so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we, we're just going to deal with the main roster and then put, you know, here, you're going to have that. Now, I think it's time for Forrest to come back. All right, I feel like Forrest should should be back. So, no martial law, and I know that. Look, that's going to be controversial. i look. I love law. I'm actually, I was a law player, you know, before I switched over. Right. So, um, so I understand the importance of DSS and uh, the the time and everything that's been put into that. I understand that, but uh, look, look, man, it's the new blood. Okay. So, uh, big Marshall. Marshall not going. He's not coming back for Tekken Eight. All right. I know that's controversial, but we will have Forrest. So I wish there was a way for us to um, to indicate, you know, that this is Forrest. So we'll use him as a placeholder, and at the end, I'll go over any person or anybody that I feel is a placeholder because we're gonna have a couple placeholders. So. Um, Ooh, I could have added. That's what I could have did. 
is um, added a new category and then put that call that placeholder right so I can do that in the settings so that way you guys will see that I, I really don't believe that law if I was making it okay if I was in charge uh, martial law wouldn't he wouldn't be back it would be a uh, force uh, let's add a row Um, let's see above okay and let's go with um with that okay black and we're going to call this um i don't i don't even know what like what what do they call it you know in the actual um when you have a new variation or something like that. I don't know. So uh, we'll just call it. Um, I guess we'll just call it variant. All right. So we'll call it variant and then we'll change the color. So that way we can see it. Okay. All right. Variant and um, let's change the color so we can see what that is. What color should we change? Let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. All right, so a variant. So, um, where are we? Law. Where are you, Law? Look, there we go. So, there's going to be a variant of Law, which is Forest Law. Okay? Um... And I have to remember what number we're on as far as our characters. Because I want to, I'm going to slim it down. I'm going to trim it down, but it's still going to get beefy with the DLC. That's how I would do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Eddie, a variant. Um, I will put Christy, Christy back. And I'm, I'm an Eddie player. So I really prefer Eddie over Christy. And the way I would do it is I would bring. Eddie back, but Eddie would be in DLC. Okay. So to actual in the actual roster, I'm gonna do um Christy. And I like how they did Armor King, like how they made Armor King, they reworked Armor King and how they reworked uh Zafina or Zafina, right? I like how they reworked her as well. So that's what I would do with Christy, is I would make her like she she wouldn't be just an eddie clone like it's gonna be some different she's gonna have some new techniques or like something's gonna happen with um christy to um to kind of differentiate her from eddie it's still gonna be capo she still learned from the, the master but look this whole time she's been off tech in what seven she's been off she's been learning some stuff okay so She's going to be different. Um, who else? Uh, Leroy. Leroy, I would do um, a variant of Leroy, of Leroy. So I would do like one of his young students. Okay. Now, the name that I was thinking was Alex. But, you know, they already used Alex as the lizard. So, look, let's just make it, uh, what is it, black exploitation. Let's go ahead and call him uh, Tyrone. Okay. So, we look, we got Leroy. In Tekken 8, we're going to have Tyrone, his young, his grandson, right? King Vaughn. Okay, we're going to have grandson in here using the same, um, man, I can't even think of uh, Win, Win Chung. Is that right? So we're going to have Win Chung. Uh, Tyrone is going to be, is going to take over for um, Leroy. All right. Okay, who else? Um, of course, we got to have Yoshimitsu in there. Yoshimitsu has to be in the game. Um, all right, uh, K Kazumi. All right, now Fakum Rom. I would, I would have him come back just as Bruce. So, so a variant of Fakum Rom. So I would have Bruce come back and. Ah, see, this is 
because Joe's, you remember my Tekken 8 is called the new blood. Okay. So, so we have to, we have to have new characters. Um, so let's see, what, what do we have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have the, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14. Of course, we have to have King. That's what, 15. Um, I would say instead of, uh, instead of Asuka, maybe I would bring Jun back. So bring Jun back. All right, we have Jack. Of course, you know, you gotta have Jack in there. So, yeah. Well, I just have to count this top row. <laughs> I know I keep counting, but look, I'm not thinking about the number. 10. So 10 up here. So that means 10 down here. That's 20. So 20. One. So 30. 20. Yeah. So I would go with 30. Right. And I, I believe Tech and 7. Start off with like what maybe 24. Here, let's look and see. Season one, vanilla, vanilla tech in seven. Well, you know, by the time it came to console, uh, let's do character select screen. Uh, image. All right. Here, let's look at this one and see what we have here. Um, this is not correct. This might be a better. This, no, that doesn't look right. All right, here we go. This looks right. Okay. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So 36. So I start off with 36. I'm going to trim it down to 30. 30 characters for Tekken 8 um, to, start, to start it off with. And then we can subtract if we need to just to uh, kind of get this thing moving. All right, who else? Who else? Um, yeah, we got to have woe in there. Got to have woe, um, to kick it off. Who else? And some of these people might, might not make it. Okay. And, and or they might make it to the variant, um, to the variant place. Nina, where is Nina? You, you know, you got to have Nina in there. Of course. I mean, really I would do, I, I would do away with them. So. Uh, they might make it to the variant so i'm gonna just kind of fill this up and then i'm gonna start subtracting because i think that's going to be the easiest way um master raven definitely would keep her in there uh zafina yeah i would keep look i'm gonna keep zafina like i said i'm gonna trim it down um like new characters i'm, I'm gonna keep the new characters All right, Lydia. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, of course you gotta have Brian in there, right? So, and then we we can we can we can subtract. All right, okay. And then we have to fill this. I mean, this is pretty much our. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 30 in here and then I'm going to start to divide and put the rest where I feel like they may go. So that's how we'll do it. Uh, I thought I had uh, a no, but I guess not. 
Let's see. We have variant. Let's do new as no. No, and let's change that to red. Okay. So, hey, Hachi, for me, if I was doing Tekken 8, that would be a no. Um, Gigas, for me, that would be a no, right? Because, look, we only can have 30. <sighs> look, this is hard. This is tough. Um, some of some of them might make it out of this. No, but you know, I need to just fill up my 30 slot and then we can um, We can Kind of do what we want That's gonna be no Drag dragging off look man. You, you gotta have dragging off, right? So. You gotta have dragging off Um Look, I really want geese in there. Um, Noctis. Like, I feel like they're not going to throw away the work that they put in on these um, these special characters. And then we can we can get them into DLC later. Shaheen. Look, look, they really need to rework Shaheen. They need to rework them. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up here, and then I'm gonna move them to the variants. But I, I just want, I just want 30. I just want 30 for my main roster, and then we can uh, figure out the rest. Because I want to make it. I don't want to make this too long, especially because you know, who am I, Bob? Mm. Yeah, you know, you gotta have at least one of them. You, you know, and let's go with Devil Jin as we know him. No. Um. Yeah, and I would say Leo, but I would totally rework Leo. But you know, <clears throat> hey. All right. Okay, so we have our 30. <clears throat> and um, and let's put the rest <clears throat> with no, and then we'll carve out uh, DLC. Because, you know, some of these people are going to make it to DLC, which that's what I would do to kind of make sure that the list is huge. Huge. All right, here we go. Now... A variant, like I said, I, I don't want Marshall. I want Forrest. And that's only because, um, you know, Forrest has a lot to do. I mean, he has a lot to, to to add to the game and to, you know, just gives them a chance to rework Law and to, you know, kind of switch up his game and switch up his play. And, yes, yeah, it's going to cause some friction, but, hey. So, Forrest, here I want Christy instead of Eddie. But uh, during, you know, DLC, maybe we can get Eddie back, right? But Christy is, is going to be different. Like, like she's going to, they're going to rework the Capo style. Um, Leroy, now we're going to get Tyrone. Fakum Rom, we're going to have um, Bruce. Let's bring Bruce back. Let's, you know, look, let's, let's get him right. Asuka. Look, I really, I really like, I really like what she brings to the table, but I think this is our chance to get, uh, to get June back. Okay. Um, Leo, Leo, Julia. Okay. Bob Shaheen. Yeah. We need to rework Shaheen. Okay. We need to rework him and, uh, you know, kind of really give him that crop. Like I would say that that Shaheen should be because uh like Krav Maga is is an Israeli um fighting system right 
and that's what I would go with. So it's going to be like a, a kind of a cross between Law and Dragon off to re- to revamp Shaheen. So he should be fighting like that with using Krav. That's what I would do. So it, it, he would be back, but he's going to be uh, he's going to be reworked. Um, who else needs a uh, reworking? Um, yeah, I think, I think that that's, I think that that's where I would go. Now, let's, uh, let's beef up our DLC and then we can kind of throw people into the probably um let's see so kunimitsu like they revamped her they redid her they might as well um they might as well like get her back in some form right let's get her in dlc geese where are you buddy geese the beast he will be reworked like um just because like i feel like they they can't they just can't get rid of the progress that they made with these 2d characters i mean it really just took tekken to a new level right and tekken is able to hold that whereas 2d games can't they just can't sustain it and really they can but they but i guess it's too hard for them to to bring a tekken character into their world right tekken can so, um, Tekken. So Geese, look, he's gonna he's gonna come back as a his variant. Okay, he's gonna come back. It's gonna be somebody else. If it's not Geese Howard, it's it's gonna be a new character. That um, and I would I would say to even combine the two, right? So to combine Noctis and geese how that would be like hella cheesy right there. <laughs> right it would be so maybe you have like a noctis you have like a noctis geese so it instead of uh so so noctis instead of him having maybe his uh like a rapukin or whatever he has uh meter and he has cancels like geese so just think of um, Noctis with cancels and meter, right? And it kind of gives him the same type of flavor of geese, but he wouldn't have the projectiles. Okay, so that's what that's what I would do. I would combine both of them to to form a new character. Okay, so I would f- combine them. So then we only need one place. So I would say instead of a projectile it would be Noctis, a variant of Noctis and Geese together. Okay. So I would do that. And, um, and maybe, yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would put him right in the, in the actual, in the game. I will put that character in the vanilla Tekken eight. And lay, of course we, I feel like Lay needs to just be in. Yeah, he out. Look, Vanilla Tekken 8. We have to have Lay in there. Vanilla, okay? Vanilla, we have to have him. Miguel, yeah. We, we should have him. So let's see, what do we have here? So we have uh, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30 here. So then that means that uh, somebody has to go from up here. Who would I take from up here? Look, I'm sorry. I know somebody's going to be like, what? But Master Raven. Okay, Master Raven, we have to bring her down to DLC. So that way we can have our, uh, our 30. Okay, so who's our 30? We have uh, 20 here, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
Because uh, I said June here. We need to remove one more. Who will it be? Who shall it be? Look, the Bears have to. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. The Bears. The Bear. You're going to have to come down to DLC. Okay. DLC for the Bear. All right. DLC for the Bear. I know that's good. That's controversial right there. But now that gives us our uh, our 30. This is our opening 30 roster here. And uh, look, right on the 30 minute, we're about to hit 31. Okay, look, let's give them the people, they want the bears. Okay, they want a bear in there, so we got to give them 32. All right, 32. All right, now, I really want 30. I want 15 on the top, 15 on the bottom, or, you know spread across you know like symmetrical how they like to do the the roster uh we might be running out of time here no we have some time <laughs> all right so this would put us at 32 okay we bring the bear we bring the bear here and um that's 31 and we need one more uh, let's hit this up Miguel I guess really it had to be uh, Miguel now like I said you they they can't get rid of this work that they've put in on uh, Eliza so so Eliza or some type of variation I would say it would be Eliza Let's bring her into uh, to DLC. And let's... If we bring the bear back, then we have to bring Lucky Chloe. I don't know. Like, because she was kind of gimmicky, but... That's, that's tough. All right. Uh, 20... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, one. We need one more. Thirty-one. Hey, let's go and put Lee up there. Okay, this is for GM right here. All right, that's thirty-two. So this is my vanilla Tekken eight. Thirty-two. Um, thirty-two characters. Look, guys, a lot of now. Real quick, we're going to see if we need some of these people not going to make it, guys. I'm sorry. Let's come up here. We're going to have to. Some of these guys are going to have to come down to the variation or the variance. Um, who? I really. F yeah. No, I will. I will leave it like that. I will leave it like that. So here. We have uh, Forest Law, we have Christy, we have Tyrone, we have Bruce, we have Jun, we have a Shaheen, but totally reworked. Like, look, we're going to add some Dragonoff and Law, combine both of them to, uh, to build a new Shaheen. Noctis and Geese will be combined to create a new character. Um, Chris, let's see. Because we're going to play off of Fury. Chris. Ah, come on. Let's see. All right. Let's hit the, uh, let's hit the Saurus up. Man, I don't have it on my phone. Oh, all right. It might be in the dictionary. All right. So references. There we go. I think they combined the, they combined both apps. Yeah, look, I don't need that. Uh, Fury. All right, give me another. Okay, so we got Chris Frenzy. That That's too... That's too uh, cheesy right there. <laughs> Chris Frenzy. Like, oh, man, this guy. Man, get, man, get Bo off of the Tekken 8 team, okay? Chris Force. Chris Mighty, ooh, Chris Mighty, um, Chris Savage, 
Chris Storm. Ooh, Chris Storm. So, Noctis is going to be a combination of uh, Noctis and Geese will form Chris Storm. And uh, so that we have them. Let's let's beef up this DLC because my Tekken 8 is going to be drip. It's going to be drenched and uh, it's going to be just double double dipped in DLC. All right. So uh, double dipped. All right. So who's going to make it? Of course. All right. For uh, Joseph Furious, we got to get Mardok in there. For um, Spirogen, we have to get Eddie slash Tiger. Okay. Got to get him in there for uh, Spiro. Um, we got GM up here. That's pretty, look, look, that's, and I got Bob up here for um, Fab, but, you know, Fab like Fang as well. So, you know, that's my East, look, look, that's, that's the, that's the New York, the, the, the East Coast, the, the up North, you feel me? Alliance right there, okay? Uh, that's really, a, look, we got, we got Shadow, we got Shadow Boy, we got uh, Anakin. So everyone is represented here in the main roster, but uh, let's go ahead and, and really double dip in this DLC, okay? Lucky Chloe. And you're gonna get like multiple, so the DLC, I'm gonna give you maybe two to three characters at a time, okay? So um, and I should have done another list where it's DLC variants because that's what, that's what I would do. I would. So like really right now we have, as a variant we have one new character one two so we have two new characters I really want to see uh I think you know Tekken really does well when it's what maybe four four or five new characters right so um And I'm talking about just like vanilla, right? When they have, so right now we just have two new characters and that would be uh, Tyrone and Chris Storm here. And, uh, you know, Forrest, he's not gonna be new cause he's been here already, but he's reworked. Like, like this is gonna be, you know, look like people, they gonna love Forrest. Like, look, they gonna, they have to figure out, okay, he, if he doesn't have um, Dragon Stance, he has something else, okay? He has something that's that's like this is gonna make Dragon Stance look like your old man's kung fu, okay? Let's put uh let's put John Wick in there against uh the five Ditley Venoms and uh look man they they ain't doing nothing with them guns. Like, bye, 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 okay? That rat -tat 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 work. So uh, Forrest is gonna he's gonna have something that's fresh that that's gonna beat DSS. It's gonna make people love it. Uh, Christy, she's gonna, you know, revamp, reinvigorate the Capo style and take Capo to the next level. <clears throat> Bruce, he's really coming back, but he's uh, just reestablishing his dominance with, uh, what is I'm about to say, Ta, Ta Po. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, Suling, good. Okay. Uh, Muay Thai, Muay Thai. John. I don't know. Now that I'm saying it, I don't know if I want Jun back. Okay. But I don't want uh, Kazumi back. So then let's, we love, we got to bring Jun. Okay. Shaheen is going to be reworked with uh, Krav and he's going to be showing um, a mix between Law and Dragon Off. I really, look, look, this is, you know, this is mine and we got to, I don't want to make this too long. Because it's already long. One person probably made it this far. Look, guys, I'm sorry. But uh, Woe is um, he's coming down here as a variant. I need four. I want four characters. Okay, at least four new characters. Um, so let's put Woe here. And maybe we can bring him back as DLC. Okay. And... I would make him a girl, like like how they did uh, that mod, how they made um, like a girl skin, but they made uh, Harong. That's what I would do. So it would be a girl, Taekwondo. I know we have a bunch of females anyway, but 
Look, that's what I would do. Did I lose? Oh, we got a new, a new, um, a new song. Okay, letting us know this is wrap up. It's time to wrap it up. It's like uh, Apollo. So, um, a girl. She's so Harong would come back as a girl, maybe as his crush or something like that. And then that way we can actually bring him in DLC as well. Um, Armor King, if we look, we we Armor King is definitely gonna make it. And I'm with Main Man. Look, if it sells, look, Armor King is leading the charge on the DLC. Okay. Um, but Akuma, I would definitely have Akuma. Uh, Heihachi would would make the way in DLC. Um, look, Miguel DLC. That's what ten. We're gonna get two more and then that's it. That's the list. Okay. Um probably not Anna. Boom. We we said we needed I wanted four. So I have what one, two, three new characters. Boom, Negan is our his variant is gonna be our um is our fourth new character. Okay. Gun Ryu, of course, we have to have him in there. So, so yeah, that's that. So here we have our 30 characters. Um, boom, 24, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that's 33. Um, let's go ahead and bring her for no Bruce will be DLC. Okay. So a variant. So I'm gonna leave him up here, but he's really a part of the DLC, but it's just to let you guys know that this is a variant, right? This isn't the actual Falcon round. So boom, that's our, uh, that's our 30. Uh, so our 32 characters that we're going to have for my baseline Tekken 8, the new blood is going to be here these guys up here um and variants we have forest christy june bruce which would be um dlc uh shaheen totally reworked so maybe we can put him in dlc mm, yeah because we might need the time to really rework them okay bruce is in dlc i mean shaheen um Chris Storm uh, Tyrone uh let's see what are we gonna call Negan um what was it Rick Grimes was uh the guy from Walking Dead so ooh what, what's the dude's uh Merle and Durrell right so instead of uh Negan we got like Durrell 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 Rampage or something like that. <laughs> or uh <laughs> let's say Tony. <laughs> Tony Rampage. And then we have um I don't know any like uh, Korean names, but that's what I would use. It would be a Korean girl. Like, um, so like I'm thinking of a vivid niece name is Han. So um, I don't know. She might be uh, from Vietnam and just call her Han. I'm thinking Stormborn, but that's like some, uh, what is that? So is that uh, Game of Thrones? I don't know what that is. Okay, but but that's my list. Uh, Tekken 8, uh, thanks all of you guys who uh joined and um you know to kind of watch this and while i'm here let's just close out with uh, a quick plug for myself <laughs> let's see i think it i think it's this this is a quick plug for me didn't make it to round two that's okay each loss is a step towards victory because there's another way to develop your strategy in our brand new book, Round One Fight, Strategic Thinking for Fighting Games, available in print, ebook, or audiobook by Patzer99, we offer up tips, tricks, and best practices that will make you a better player. Fights are more than a series of button smashes and lucky jabs. They're strategy. It's about knowing the game. 
Information matters, and we can teach you how to use it to your advantage. This book will prepare you for the next fight with the knowledge and perspective that most gamers just don't have. By reflecting on the results, you can begin winning more tournaments online and in the arena. Before you know it, you'll take your play to a whole new level and develop the same stats that high-level players have. It's not about having the best fight stick or lowest latency. It's about you, your skill, and your knowledge. Whether you're playing Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Tekken, or Soul Calibur, we have the strategies that can take you to victory. You owe it to yourself to become the best player you can be. Start making better decisions, landing more throws, and winning more matches. Available in print, ebook, or audiobook. Buy the book today and start turning losses into wins. Boom, that was my quick plug. And uh Reese's Tekken 8, the new blood.